This beautiful text design will teach you everything about masks, layer styles and clipping masks. Let's get started. First, create a simple gradient background. You can do that by going to the new layer button and then on top, choose gradient. In this window, you can create a gradient background however you'd like. Let's choose one of the pinks for example. This one will work perfectly. If you want, you can play around with the gradient settings. It's all up to you. Next, you're gonna need an abstract image like this one. You can find tons of these online. I got this one one from Freepik, but if you want you can create one yourself. Once you have it on your canvas, go to the toolbar and find the text tool. Then in your canvas, click and type in whatever you want. I'm going for the word design. Now hit Ctrl plus T to open up the transform properties. That way you can scale and position the text however you like. Place it somewhere in the middle. Alright, next we're gonna create a selection of your text and apply it to our abstract image. To do that, go to the layer panel and hold down Ctrl on your keyboard. Then click the text icon on your text layer to create a selection around your text. Then select the abstract image and click on the mask icon. There you go. Now you can still adjust the position and scale of the background image and to do that click the link icon in between your image and the layer mask. Now select the image and in your canvas you can now play around with the image as much as you want. When you're happy we're gonna create some depth in our text and to do that double click the layer to open up the layer styles. In here enable the inner shadow style and make sure it's selected. Now in here, adjust these settings exactly the way you like and then click on OK. There you go. To finish off the effect, we're gonna blend the color of the text with the background. To do that, go to the adjustments panel and find the hue and saturation adjustment. Now if we adjust these settings, the entire image will be affected. We don't want that, we only want the colors of the text layer to change. To do that, we're gonna create a clipping mask by holding your cursor in between your hue and saturation layer and the image layer. Then once this arrow appears, simply click and now all these adjustments will only be applied to your text. It's that simple. In the next level, you will learn everything about changing eye colors right here in this video. Thank you guys so much for watching.